Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a simple amigurumi frog. This frog is a perfect beginner project if you're just starting out, or if you're more advanced, it's a plush that you can work up really quickly in just under an hour. I will be using US crochet terms in this video, and you will need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and if you're just starting off, I highly recommend using a stitch marker as well to help you keep track of the rows. You will also need some stuffing. I'm using polyester fiber fill. As for the hook and yarn, I will be using a 7mm hook, and my main yarn is a number 6 super bulky blanket yarn, but you are welcome to use whatever yarn you have on hand in the appropriate hook size. I will also be using a little bit of this black number 4 worsted weight yarn to make the mouth. For the eyes, I am using 24mm safety eyes, but if you don't have them, you can replace them with other sizes of safety eyes or buttons or make them out of felt or even just use yarn. So now that we've gathered all our tools and supplies, let's get started. So first we're going to make the body of our frog, starting with a magic circle. To make a magic circle, start by pinching your yarn between your thumb and your pointer finger, then wrap the yarn around your pointer and middle finger, making an X. Hold that X in place, and then take your hook, hook facing up, put it underneath the X, turn the hook to the side, Grab the yarn over your middle finger and pull it underneath that X. Now turn the hook towards your pointer finger and then reach over the X, grab the yarn again, pull it over the X and through the loop. Yay, we made our magic circle. So now I'm just going to tighten up the loops a little bit by pulling on the yarn and then we'll move on to the next step. So for this first round, we're gonna make six single crochets in a magic circle. So start by putting your hook through the circle Grab the yarn, pull it back through the circle, and then grab the yarn again and pull it through both loops. This makes one single crochet. So we're gonna do it again, put the hook through the circle, grab the yarn, pull it through the circle, grab the yarn again and pull it through both loops. So we're gonna do this four more times to make six total. That's our third one, fourth one, fifth one, and then sixth one. So now that we are done, we're going to close up our circle. So grab your yarn's tail end, which is basically a yarn that you're not using to crochet, pull it tight, and that's it for round one. We are ready for the next round. So before we start round two, let's use our stitch marker and put it into the last single crochet that we made, just so we know where to stop for the next round. If you're a beginner, this is especially helpful just in case you lose track of your stitches. So for round two, we are going to increase six times, meaning that we are going to make two single crochets in each of the stitches until we have 12 total. So we're going to skip the knob in the beginning and just go straight to the first stitch made from the single crochet from the last round. And just in case you're not too sure what it looks like, the single crochet from the last round kind of looks like a V or two strands of yarn running on top. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hook and go underneath those two strands of yarn. And then you're going to take the working yarn and pull it through underneath those two strands and then again for the two loops. So remember to increase, we need to do this again in the same stitch. So we're going to go under the same two strands of yarn or V shape and grab the yarn again and pull through the loops again. Now you're going to go to the second stitch and do the same thing again by doing two single crochets within that second stitch. Again for the third one, we're going to do two single crochets again in that third stitch and then increase again in the fourth stitch by doing two single crochets and then increase again in the fifth stitch by doing two single crochets and we've reached our marker which means that this is going to be the last stitch so we're going to take the marker off and then we're going to finally do two more single crochets and increase for that sixth stitch. Now we should have a total of 12 stitches. Let's count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now we're ready for the third round. Before we start the third round, let's put on that stitch marker again on the last stitch that we just made, just to make sure that we can keep track of everything. For this third round, we are going to be doing one single crochet and then one increase. And we're going to do this six times, making 18 total. So start by going the first stitch and make one single crochet. Now we're going to go on to the second stitch and this time we're going to increase. We're going to make two single crochets within that second stitch. Now onto the third stitch, we're going to make one single crochet only and then we're going to do two single crochets in the fourth stitch. 
now one single crochet in the fifth stitch and then increase by making two single crochets in the sixth stitch one single crochet in the seventh stitch then increase by making two single crochets in the eighth stitch one single crochet in the ninth stitch the increase by making two single crochets in the tenth stitch one single crochet in the eleventh stitch and then this is the last one because we reached our marker so we're going to make two single crochets in that twelfth stitch so now we should have 18 stitches total we can count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen perfect so now we can go on to the fourth round so again before we start on the fourth round we're going to put that stitch marker on the last stitch that we just made this time we are making two single crochets and then one increase and we're going to do this six times making 24 stitches total at the end so start by going in the first stitch we're going to make one single crochet then we're going to go on to the second stitch and we're going to make one single crochet again now in the third stitch we're going to increase by making two single crochets so we're going to repeat this again so again in the first stitch we're going to make one single crochet and then in the second stitch we're going to make one single crochet and then in the third stitch we're going to increase by making two single crochets so again we're going to go in that first stitch make one single crochet make a single crochet in the second stitch and then in the third one we are going to increase by making two single crochets again in the first stitch make one single crochet second stitch one single crochet third stitch two single crochets for an increase just detangling my yarn then first stitch one single crochet second stitch one single crochet third stitch two single crochets to increase and here's the last one we're going to go into that first stitch and do one single crochet second stitch also one single crochet so we reached the marker which means this is the last stitch so for this one we're going to increase by doing two single crochets now we should have a total of 24 stitches we can count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four now on to the fifth round so before we start the fifth round let's put on our stitch marker onto the last stitch that we made so for this round we're going to be doing three single crochets and then an increase on the fourth stitch we're going to be doing this six times to make a total of 30 stitches so let's start in the first stitch one single crochet then one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and then an increase by making two single crochets in the fourth stitch again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and then increase by making two single crochets in the fourth stitch again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and again increase by making two single crochets in the fourth stitch again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and again increase by making two single crochets in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and again increase by making two single crochets in the fourth stitch last one one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and we reached a marker so let's take that off and then finally two single crochets to increase on that last stitch we should be left with 30 stitches total now so let's count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's go on to the sixth round. So again, let's put our stitch marker in the last stitch that we just made. For the sixth round, we are not doing any increasing at all. We're just going to be making one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around, making 30 stitches again. So let's start going in the first stitch. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Just need to loosen up some yarn. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and then the last one, when you take off the stitch marker, 30. And we are done with round six. So for the next five rounds, which is round seven to 11, you're just gonna do the exact same thing that we just did for round six. You're just gonna make 30 single crochets total for each round, one single crochet in each stitch. And I'll see you when we get back. Welcome back. Let's continue on to round 12. So again, let's start by putting the stitch marker in the last stitch that we just made from round 11. Now we're going to start closing up our body. So for this round, we're going to be doing three single crochets and then one invisible decrease and repeat this six times to make 24 stitches total. So let's start with one single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and now we're going to make an invisible decrease so instead of going under that full fourth stitch we're only going to go halfway through under that front loop only which is basically the first strand of yarn on the v and then we're going to do that again on the fifth stitch and go under that front loop only again and then we're going to grab the working yarn pull it through those two loops and then again for the two loops left on the hook and that's how you make an invisible decrease. Now I'm gonna continue with one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet again, one single crochet again, and then we're gonna make another invisible decrease. So once again, we're only gonna go halfway through the stitch for that front loop only. And then in the next stitch, we're gonna again go through that front loop only. And then we're going to pull the working yarn through both of those stitches and then again through both loops again we're going to make one more single crochet in the next stitch another single crochet in the next stitch another single crochet in the next stitch and again an invisible decrease so again only through that front loop only and then on to the next stitch also that front loop only Pull the working yarn through both of those loops and again through both loops. When you are making a decrease, you're basically stitching two stitches into one and decreasing the circumference of your circle. So again, we're going to do one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then decrease the next two stitches. So only that front loop only, and then again, only that front loop only of the next stitch. Pull the yarn through both of those loops and again through the two loops and again we're going to proceed in making one single crochet one single crochet 
one single crochet and then another invisible decrease so for that front loop only and that front loop only of the next stitch and then pull the yarn through two times and then again back to the first single crochet one single crochet again one more single crochet and this is the last one we're going to have to do for this round so we're going to take off that stitch marker and then go for that front loop only of that fourth stitch and then the front loop only of that fifth stitch and then pull the yarn through both of those loops and then again for those two loops you should be left with 24 stitches in this round so let's count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three 24. So now on to the 13th round. We're going to start by putting that stitch marker in the last stitch that we just made. We're going to be making two single crochets and one invisible decrease. We're going to repeat that six times for a total of 18 stitches in this round. So let's get started. We're going to start with one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and then now we're going to do an invisible decrease. So only for the front loop only of the third and the fourth stitch and then grab the yarn pull it for those two front loops and then again for the loops on the hook again one single crochet one single crochet and an invisible decrease so front loop only of the third and fourth stitch grab the yarn pull it through and again for the two loops on the hook so again one single crochet one single crochet and then another invisible decrease by crocheting and only the front loop only of the third and fourth stitch again a single crochet another single crochet and then invisible decrease by crocheting only the front loop only of the third and fourth stitch again one single crochet one single crochet and then invisible decrease by crocheting only the front loop only of the third and fourth stitch So again, we're going to do one single crochet, one single crochet, and this is the last one, so take off the stitch marker. And then do an invisible decrease by going that front loop only of that third and fourth stitch. And then pull that yarn for those two loops, and again for the two loops on the hook. Now we're done with this round, we should have a total of 18 stitches, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So now we're going to start stuffing the frog. So take your stuffing and just take a little bit at a time. Make sure it's fluffed out and then place it into the body of your frog. So it can be tempting to try to go faster by putting in huge chunks at a time. But what I found in the past from when I did that is that the plushie would tend to come out lopsided or unevenly stuffed or overstuffed and we don't want that. So putting in a little at a time helps a lot with forming your stuffing to the shape of your plushie and you can use your fingers to press it in and make sure it's forming the way you want it to. When you get towards the top, just make sure you're not stuffing too much because we still have a few more rounds to make and it'll be harder if there's too much stuffing near the opening. So make sure that everything is filled out well and add more stuffing if needed and when you're done, we're ready to move on to the next round. So don't forget to add your stitch marker before we start the 14th round. For this round, we're going to be doing one single crochet and one invisible decrease six times for a total of 12 stitches. So let's start with that one single crochet and then our invisible decrease. One single crochet again, and then invisible decrease. One single crochet again, and then an invisible decrease.
one single crochet, and then an invisible decrease. One single crochet again, an invisible decrease. And then one single crochet, and this is our last one, so let's take off that stitch marker. And make one final invisible decrease. And then we are done with this round. We should have 12 stitches total, so let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So before we move on to our last round, add a little bit of stuffing to fill up the space that we just made. And when you're done, it's on to the 15th and final round. For this round, we're just doing six invisible decreases. Starting with one invisible decrease. Two. Three. Four, five, and then finally six. Now that we're finished, let's go ahead and fasten off by pulling that yarn through the loop. And then we're going to make sure that we have a lot of excess yarn for sewing. Cut the yarn and then pull all of the yarn through the loop. Now add any more stuffing that you may need to fill up the empty space near the top. And when you're done stuffing, it's time to close up the hole. So take your yarn needle and thread the yarn through it. We're gonna pull the needle through each of the stitches in the opening. So start by pushing your needle into the circle and then outwards in the next stitch. And then inwards again for the third stitch and then outwards again in the next one. Inwards again. And then outwards for the last stitch. And then pull your yarn tight. That will close up your circle. And if there's anywhere that looks like I could use an extra stitch to close it up a little bit more, I'll just go ahead and pull the needle through there too. So I'm going to add one right here and pull it tight. It's looking pretty good, but I think I'll add one more. So one last one over here. Pull that one tight too. And when it all looks good, we can go ahead and secure it. So to secure your yarn, we're going to pull the needle through a nearby spot. But instead of pulling it all the way tight, we're going to leave a little bit slack. That way we can put the needle through that slack that we left behind. And then we're going to pull tight after we pull it through. And for extra security, I like to knot my yarn a few times. And I usually just keep knotting it until I feel like the knot is big enough where it won't easily slip past the stitches. So if you're using a thinner yarn, you usually only have to do this maybe three or four times, but because I'm using a thicker yarn and the holes in the stitches are a lot bigger, I'm just going to keep knotting it until I feel like it is large enough. But also make sure it's not too big because we do need to be able to use the needle to pull it through the stitches one time in order to hide the knot. So when you think your knot is an appropriate size, we're going to push the needle through a nearby spot 
and then push it out of the other side of the plush. We're going to pull the knot through the plush to hide it. And then you're going to squish down the part of your plushie where the yarn is coming out of. And then take a pair of scissors and cut off that yarn. When you puff up your plushie, it should hide the yarn and you're done with the body of your frog. So to make our frog's eyes, we're going to start again with a magic circle. If you don't remember how to do that, we're going to start by taking our yarn and pinching it between our thumb and pointer finger. Then we're going to make an X and we're going to do this by wrapping it around the pointer and the middle finger and then hold that in place. Now grab your hook, have it facing up and go underneath the X. Now turn your hook and grab the lower strand of yarn over your middle finger and pull it underneath the X. Then turn it again in the same direction and this time going over the X, grab the yarn again and pull it through the loop. Now that we have our magic circle, we can start the first round by making 10 single crochets in the magic circle. So push your hook through the circle and then pull the yarn through and then again through the two loops. That makes one single crochet. Now on to two single crochets, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. So pull the tail in tight, and then we are ready for the next round. For round two, we're gonna be making 10 single crochets again, which means one single crochet in each stitch. So add your stitch marker again, and let's begin. One single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and then last one so let's remove that stitch marker and make 10. we should have a total of 10 single crochets so for the next round we're also going to be doing 10 single crochets again so add your stitch marker and let's begin one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the last ones, let's remove that stitch marker and make our 10th single crochet. And we are done with round three. So if your eye looks anything like mine with the yarn end hanging on the outside, it's actually inside out, so make sure to flip it to make it correct. Now we're going to go on to our fourth and final round for the eye. So let's add on our stitch marker again. So for this round, we're going to be doing three single crochets and one decrease. And we're going to do this two times for a total of eight stitches. So let's start with one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and now we're going to do an invisible decrease. So again, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then let's take that stitch marker out and we're gonna make one invisible decrease. And that's how we make the frog's eye. The last thing that we need to do now that we've finished all of our rounds is to fasten off. So grab the yarn, pull it for the loop. Make sure you're leaving a lot of yarn so we can sew the eye on later. And then we're just gonna cut that yarn and then pull the yarn all the way through. Now repeat this process again to make a second one. When you finish your two pieces, we can now attach our eyes. So I'm using safety eyes. These are 24 millimeters. I'm gonna go ahead and pick out two of these eyes. If you remember, each of our pieces has four rounds. We're going to insert our safety eyes in between the second and third round. So starting from the top, count your rounds, one, two, 
and then place your eye between that second and third round. And this is really important. You have to make sure that your eye is centered in a way where the long strand of yarn that we love for sewing is on the right hand side. So again, for the second eye, you also have four rounds. So again, you're gonna count from the top, one, two, and place your eye between the second and third round. And again, really important, the long strand of yarn that we love for sewing should be on the right hand side when your eye is centered. So make sure the safety eye is centered in the middle with the yarn strand all the way on the right hand side. So after you have your safety eyes in the perfect position, grab your backings. And now we're gonna secure the safety eyes into place. So going inside, we're going to attach the backing to our safety eye. And do it again with the other one. So since it's attached on the inside of the yarn eyepiece that we made, you should not be able to see the safety eye backing from the outside. Now that they're secure, it's time for the last step, sewing them onto the body. So for this step, we're going to need our yarn needle, and then we're going to start on the left-hand side and attach the eyes starting between the first and the second round of the body. Start by threading the yarn into the eye of your yarn needle. And from the top, you can see all the different rings that we did for your body. These are your rounds. Find that first round, and then put your yarn needle between that first round and the second round. We're going to be working down the left hand side of your frog, but make sure that your frog's eye is centered where it's around the same distance between the front and the back side of the body. So push your needle through the first and second round and have it exit between the second and third round. You can check to make sure you like where the eye placement is so far, and then we're going to continue sewing. So our eyepiece should be pinched flat, and we're going to take the needle and push it all the way from the back of the eyepiece through both sides all the way for the front of the eyepiece. Pull that yarn through and then go back into the same spot you exited from in the body and then move down one more round, exiting between the third and the fourth round. Now in the same way, insert your needle, this time for the front of the eyepiece. Push it all the way through until it exits out of the back of the eyepiece. And then go for the same spot that you came out of and then move your needle down one more round and again going through the full eyepiece pull your yarn through and then go back in the same spot you exited from in the body and move your needle down one more round this will be our last round and then pull that needle again through the eyepiece so I like to make sure my pieces are more securely attached by going through them once again. So going now from the bottom to top, I'm just going to sew through the eyepiece and then move up each round. And after I get to the top, I like to go through it one more time. So going from the top this time and going back downwards. I just want to make sure that my eye is super secure. After I reach the bottom, I'm just going to secure the yarn. So we're going to do this similarly to how we secure the body of the frog. So pull your needle through, but leave some slack behind, and then put your needle through that slack and then pull tight. And then for extra security, I'm going to knot the yarn a few times. And then place the needle through the body of the frog and pull the knot all the way through. After it's pulled all the way through, press down the body of the frog, cut the yarn, and then puff up the body of the frog again to hide that yarn, and then we are done with this eye. Now let's attach the other eye to the frog. So start by threading your yarn through your yarn needle. This eye is gonna go on the right side, directly across from the other eye, like so. So look at where your last eye left off and then follow that round all the way to the other side. That's where you're going to start for this eye. So making sure it's directly across from the other eye, place your yarn needle in the exact same round where the last eye ended. You can do what I'm doing, which is using my finger to trace the round all the way to the other side. Now starting from this round, we're going to be working up this time. 
So pull the needle through and make sure you like where the eye is placed. And then pull the needle through the eyepiece. Remember, it should be going through both sides of the eyepiece. The eyepiece should be squished flat. Now going for the exact same spot where you came out of, move up one round, and then again, pull that needle through the eyepiece. Now put your needle back in the same spot you just came out of, and exit out of the round above it, pull the needle through the eyepiece again, then back into the same spot that you just came from, and exit out of the round above it. This is the last one. Again, for the eyepiece. You should be ending between the first and the second round, just like how you started with the first eye. And again, for extra security, I like to go back down the frog again, making sure that it's super secure. And then once I reach the bottom, I'm gonna go back up the frog one more time. Now that we reach the top, let's secure it, pull the needle through the eyepiece, leaving a little bit of slack. Put the needle underneath that slack and then pull tight. And then again, for extra security, knot the yarn a few times. And then push the needle through the body and pull the knot through. After the knot is pulled through, push down on the body, cut the yarn, puff up the plush to hide the yarn, and we are done attaching the eyes to the body. So now we are on to our very last step. We're going to add a little mouth to our frog. Take your black number four worsted weight yarn and cut around one foot of it. Grab your frog and take your yarn and thread it through the yarn needle. From the top of the frog's body, we're going to count four rounds. One, two, three, four. And in between the fourth and the fifth round is where our frog's mouth is going to start. So going from the side of each eye, find the center of your frog. It looks like the center is these two stitches, so I'm going to start from the right side of this right stitch, go underneath, and exit out of the left side of the left stitch. So our mouth is going to be around two stitches wide. Pull the yarn through, but not all the way through. And then go back into that same stitch that we started with. Now we're going to exit in between the two stitches, but one round below, so in between the fifth and the sixth round. Now take your needle and go underneath that black strand of yarn. And then go over it and pull it downwards. Pull your yarn out of the needle and then place that needle in the same starting spot. Now take the yarn that we started with and place it for that needle. Run the needle for the same starting spot and then exit it out of the same place where we ended. Now tie your two strands of yarn together and knot it a few times. And when you're finished, use the needle to pull the knot for the body of your frog. Cut off any excess yarn, and if needed, use the needle to pull out the yarn a little bit more to make the mouth more obvious. And we are finished! Congratulations on finishing your frog. All that's left to do now is to give your frog a name. Let me know what it is in the comments. Thank you so much for following along, and don't forget to subscribe for more.